Hi, thank you for joining us on Super User TV to discuss the strategic focus areas in the OpenStack community. With me, I have Alan. Alan, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Alan Clark. I'm chairman of the board for the OpenStack Foundation, community member, and just here to have a lot of fun. Great, thank you for joining us. So, I want to start with, why did the board or other parties that were involved uh, put together a workshop in the first place in March to come up with some focus areas for OpenStack? That's a very good question. So traditionally the board, we have our elections in January and we like to get the board together as quickly after those elections as possible just because we have new members, we want to make sure uh, uh, the new members are, are active and familiar with the, the board members. But this year I sensed uh, there some, was some underlying questions that weren't getting addressed uh, because typically when we come to the summits everybody are very busy. And with, with those open questions and some of the contentions, we felt like making that a full day meeting and also including the leadership within the community. So the technical committee and the user committee and the foundation staff, we felt like it'd be a great idea to pull everybody together, at least spend a full day, if not more time, to discuss and ask the, the questions uh, surrounding the community at this time. So we started very basic and said, what are the top issues on your mind? Let's figure out what is OpenStack, where is it heading, what do we need to be looking at, what do we need to figure out, what are the barriers that are getting in the way of our, our growth and adoption as a community? So coming out of this exercise, what were the five areas chosen as, you know, quote unquote, focus areas, and why these specifically? So it's a very good question. So when we started, we, we we did a lot of preparation before we went into the room. Allison Randall from the board uh, did a great job in asking a lot of questions uh, to prep for the meeting, but we really did go into the meeting with a, with a blank board, right? And we uh, went through the, the sticky note exercise where we just asked everyone to uh, put down with top of mind what their top issues were. So we, we put all that information down and then we started to formulate and collate uh, areas uh, of interest and, and those floated to the top. So from that we got the top five that we wanted to address now. There's other topics, we're not ignoring those, but we wanted to narrow it down to what we could reach and, and do immediately. So we talked about community health, we talked about adjacent communities, uh, we talked about uh, some cleanup uh, with our technologies. We talked about categorizing and mapping those technologies uh, within the community to help everyone better understand. And then the fifth one, looking forward, the uh, um, um, forward-looking, uh, sorry, I'm stumbling here forward-looking uh, to the, the roadmap. Yeah, absolutely, and I think, you know, um, if I recall, I think adjacent technologies was the last one that we also discussed, and, you know, I think it's evident at the summit with composable infrastructure messaging, so I, I think uh, those are all finely tuned topics. How do they relate to each other, though? Like, uh, is there a synergy, if you will? There is a synergy between those, and that, that's what was the beautiful thing by by pulling in all the perspectives, right, we have a large perspective from the board, from the technical committee, from the user committee, you get all those perspectives. And, and I was very excited to see how we didn't get these disparate topics that were topical for one group and not the other, but they ended up being very topical for everybody in the room. But as you notice, as I listed them off, they're very interrelated, right? And so a lot of the issues, if we can tackle one, it's going to help topple, topple barriers uh, for the other areas as well. Awesome. And so you, you mentioned when you were uh, giving the five focus areas that you know, we chose five, but these were the only ones discussed. So, so what's next there? Uh, is there? Is there some initiative or effort to continue this conversation? There is. Um, and we actually held a board meeting this Sunday and continue talking about those. Those areas will continue to be a focus. There's actions within the areas that are being worked on. And we're already seeing uh, uh, fruit from those efforts as we've gone along. So lots of discussion this week. They've been very topical items. 
during the summit. Um, so we got an update at the board meeting. We'll continue uh, to get updates from those, those work efforts over the next few months. And uh, one of the exciting parts about during our joint meeting this, uh, this week is the, the energy that was generated from that March meeting literally has, has uh, changed the relationships between the, the different uh, uh, leadership bodies, uh, much more synergy, renewed energy, as I mentioned, going forward. And so one of the things that I asked during that meeting is, should we do this again? Should we follow up on this? And there was a resounding yes. So it won't just be something we talk about this week, but it's something that will continue to come up on the agendas during the board and technical committee and user committee meetings. But uh, I'm also looking forward that we'll have a follow-up as a full-day leadership meeting again this fall. So these issues are definitely not going away. We're going to continue to work them till, till we resolve them, get rid of those barriers. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Alan. You're welcome. Thank you.